Hello world. What's up guys? Welcome back to today's video where we are talking all about dry skin. What causes dry skin, how to identify it, and most importantly, how to get rid of dry skin. Ugh, I can't even believe I'm about to say this, but this winter is officially here. It's the beginning of December. The holidays are coming, but that also means that dry skin, rough skin, cracked skin, peeling skin, itchy skin, red skin, irritated skin. I don't want to say anymore. Last week we talked all about the differences between dry skin and dehydrated skin because they are two different things. Doing things for dry skin, if you have dehydrated skin, it's not going to give you the best results. So make sure you check out last week's video. I'll link it down below and in a card right around here. Here, once you have identified if you have dry skin, thankfully, there are some ways that you can help to treat it, minimize it, and prevent it this winter. Today, we're gonna do a deep dive into dry skin in particular because I myself battle with dry skin and have my entire life, and I know so many of you battle with dry skin, in particular in the winter as well. But before we dive into all of that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe before you go, and by the end of today's video, if you've learned some tips or tricks on dry skin, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out these videos. All right, let's dive right into today's video. What causes dry skin? How to identify dry skin? And most importantly, how to get rid of dry skin? Okay, so dry skin is a skin type, just like oily skin, normal skin, or combination skin. Dry skin lacks the natural lipids or oils that help keep your skin smooth and well hydrated. When your skin lacks these natural oils, it takes on a more dry, rough, or flaky appearance. You guys know this is like the bane of my existence. Dry skin is my arch nemesis. Today we're going to take care of all of it. Now some of the symptoms of dry skin include your skin feeling really tight, if it feels rough, dry, itchy, irritated. All of these things signal that you could be suffering from dry skin. Now of course dry skin can happen over your entire body. For me in particular, my legs are so dry. You can experience dry skin over your entire body, but most people in particular get it on the hands, the arms, the legs, oh, even the head we're talking dandruff. Oddly enough, I also suffer from dry skin on my feet. My hands and my feet in particular in the winter become so dry, you guys. I can't even. I am constantly using a moisturizer protecting my skin. I was actually just thinking I need to pick up like a full tub of Vaseline to have it in my bathroom this winter. I just ran out. I need to pick one up. This is a mental reminder. Now you may have heard the term dermatitis used before, and this is the medical term for extremely dry skin. And unfortunately, there are several types of dermatitis that you can get during your lifetime. Now the first one is contact dermatitis, and this is when your skin develops an irritation whenever it touches something. What happens is the chemical or substance that you're touching causes inflammation irritation and can develop and get worse if the skin stays in contact with this chemical or whatever's irritating it over a long period of time. You can have a really bad skin reaction. The second type of dermatitis is seboric dermatitis and this is when your skin produces too much oil and it actually inflames your own skin. The symptoms of seboric dermatitis is red scaliness and they say that this happens a lot on infants and on the top of your head. How awful. Of course, sweat and oil is a skin irritant, and even as an adult, experts do say that after you exercise or sweat a lot, it is important to shower and get rid of all of that oil and sweat off of your skin to minimize your chances of it causing a reaction. Now, the third type of dermatitis is the one that I suffer from. It's so sad, and that's atopic dermatitis, also known as eczema. Now, I feel like at this point, I am an eczema expert, I haven't done any videos on eczema. I should do that. This is another mental note. Do a video on eczema. I've suffered from eczema my entire life, you guys. I've had it over my entire body. I used to have it on my knee, then it spread to my elbow. I haven't had it on those areas now that I think about it in a while, but as an adult, I experience eczema on my eyelid. I know, awful. On my eyelid and on my ear. I get a little patch right here. It happens about once a year, always when winter comes or when a season changes, but I get a little bit here on the side of my eye. I actually have a little bit of the eczema on this eyelid right here, right now. It causes a rough and scaly patch. Literally, you can pull the skin off. It is disgusting. And then I get a little bit on my ear, and I always know it's eczema and not dry skin, A, by the fact that it's peely, rough, and literally like peels right off, but it also has like a dead, desensitized touch 
I don't know, if you have eczema out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but in my personal experience, if you suffer from eczema, there is a lot of things that you can try at the drugstore to get rid of it, but every time I've experienced an eczema outbreak, I've gone to my doctor and I've got some type of steroid cream. Honestly, in one day, you just pop it on there and the eczema is gone in one day. Now, of course, there are some things that you could be doing that are increasing your risk of developing dry skin, especially in the winter time. So there are a few things that you can do to minimize your dry skin. Of course, naturally, as you age, your body produces less of those oils and less of those lipids. So as you age, you do increase your chances of developing dry skin. Of course, your skin can change a little bit here and there as you age or as the seasons change. So these are kind of like loose guidelines to follow, definitely depending on the type of year. So season change from winter to summer, it is important to adjust your skincare routine and your lifestyle routine if you're someone who suffers from extremely dry skin. I know it can be a bit of an inconvenience to change up your whole routine, but if you suffer from dry skin, you guys know there is nothing worse than dry skin. So there are a few things that you can do, like avoiding hot water in the shower. I know if you're someone out there who loves a hot, hot shower, I'm actually not one of them, luckily, because I've always known that it dries your skin out, but the hotter the water, the more dry your skin is going to become. So try turning that water down a little bit cooler and you'll see that your dry skin should alleviate. This also goes into things like not taking a very long shower, just pop in. Also, you can shower every other day. You don't need to shower every day. If you're someone who your body is literally just dying to hold on to its natural oils and moisture because your body is so dry, try showering every second day instead of every day. Give your skin that break, let it, you know, absorb its oils, moisturize it frequently. That also means avoiding baths, hot, long baths. I know in the winter it feels so good. Get your iPad, crawl in the bath, put on Netflix. You could stay in there for like an hour, floating, bobbing, you know, a lush bath bomb. Bath salts, don't eat them. But just lying in the bath, resting, rejuvenating. I know, literally I want to have a bath right now that I said that but I won't. Another way to avoid dry skin is something that I've actually done for a couple of years now, and it's one of my biggest tips that I always share with you guys. As soon as I'm done my shower, I don't even use a towel. I take my hands, I squeegee my entire body down, and then I just take about five pumps of moisturizer, and I just cover my whole body. This helps to lock in the moisture, to lock in that little bit of water that's already left on your body. Then I just dry down my skin, has never felt more hydrated or supple literally in my entire life since I started doing this. I read about it somewhere on the internet and I was like, I need to try this because I have such dry skin. So I tried it. I loved it. From me to you, that is a real personal tip. Put your moisturizer on right after the shower. You guys, let me know in the comments down below if you do this. Your skin is so soft. Now, things like hyaluronic acid or glycerin or even collodial colloidal oatmeal, I'm a little bit tongue-tied, all of these things help to add moisture back into the skin. If you have dehydrated skin, these are great skincare ingredients that we hear about all the time. I'm going to put some hand moisturizer on right now, but these things are going to help to put moisture back into the skin, and then you want to go ahead and use a product to seal it in. If you have dry skin, it is important to add a little bit of moisture into that dehydrated skin just to help the overall dryness of the situation. And then once you've quenched your dehydrated skin, you want to go ahead with something like a jojoba oil, a squalane, or a rosehip oil, even something as simple as Vaseline. Put that all over your dry skin, and what that's going to do is to seal in those ingredients to really protect your skin and help form that protective barrier. That way your skin is protected from moisture loss, leaving you with more supple skin than you've ever had in your entire lifetime. And of course, ceramides are fabulous for dry and dehydrated skin. What they help to do is strengthen the skin's barrier, helping to prevent moisture loss and sealing in hydration. Literally, it's a double win. And one more big tip that I wanted to let you guys know about is adding a humidifier into your space really helps with dry, dehydrated skin. It helps with both of those, especially during the winter when there's not a lot of humidity in the air. You can even do something as simple as boiling a big pot of water on the stove. Sometimes I like to throw some lemon or an orange in there. It just fills the space with such a beautiful moisture. It smells amazing. Your skin is going to feel hydrated. It's going to drink it up. It is going to love it this winter. Now, a couple of my personal favorite skincare products to treat and prevent dry skin. This is the Equate. This is a dupe for the Aveeno Daily Moisturizer with 
colloidal oak, a humectant. It's going to bind to the skin. And then the moisturizers in here, of course, this is the fragrance free version, but the moisturizers in here are then going to create a protective barrier. It makes a fabulous body moisturizer as well as a great hand cream. Now, I did want to quickly mention as well, this is the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum. Now, this on its own provides hydration in the skin, but then you need to use a moisturizer on top to seal it all in. If you just use a serum like this that's full of different hyaluronic acids and full of different humectants, if you don't seal it in with a moisturizer, it's actually going to pull the moisture out of your skin, leaving you with even more dry skin which is something we don't want. So this winter, I've actually been pairing it with the I'm From Honey Cream. Now, this is another cult classic as well. It contains honey, which is a fabulous humectant on its own. Again, gonna pull moisture into the skin, plump it up, add hydration for dehydrated skin. But if you have dry skin, all of the emollients in here are gonna create that protective barrier, seal in all the benefits of the honey. It's fantastic, it's really thick. I mean, it is thick. It's basically as thick as like a Nivea cream, but for the winter, it's fabulous. I've even been bringing this all the way down my neck, giving myself a nice neck treatment. You guys, I've been developing little neck lines. Oh my gosh. So I've been bringing my skincare all the way down my neck, which you should be doing anyway, but now I'm just paying extra attention. All right, guys, and that is today's video on dry skin. How to identify dry skin, what type of dry skin you may have, and most importantly, how to get rid of your dry skin and prevent it this winter. Winter can be such an awful time for that dry, scaly, irritated skin. You guys know my channel is all about moisturization, hydration. I truly believe that moisture is the foundation of preventing aging. If you have any favorite skincare products to prevent and treat your dry skin, please, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to go get them. I would love to try them. And if you made it to the end of today's video, you guys know Romeo and I love and appreciate you so much. Thanks for sticking around until the very end. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe before you go. Turn on that bell notification or else Romeo, he's gonna get ya. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. We love you so much. We'll see you then. Bye.